time is 8.45 p.m. Good evening. The news headline. Nigeria, under Buhari's government, lost 6.5 trillion in two years. Egypt, Ghana, among top African gainers, report. The most populous African country has obviously been affected by economic crisis as the source revealed that it lost 15.8 billion US dollars, which amounts to 6.5 trillion 594 million. Between the last two years under review, Nigeria, under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari, has become the number four African country with the gross domestic product GDP loss between 2019 and 2020. And this was according to a report by StatiSense. The most populous African country has obviously been affected by economic crisis as a source revealed that it lost 15.8 billion, which totals around 6.5 trillion between the last two years under review. President Mohamed Buhari in 2015 promised to revamp the nation's economy and we are in 2019 to engage 1 million NPower graduates uh, in, and skill up to 10 million. Nigerians in partnership with the private sector, all in efforts to make Nigeria strong economically. Furthermore, in 2019, he pledged to develop six industrial parks in each of the geopolitical zones to establish 109 special production and processing centers known as SPPCS across each senatorial district of Nigeria to develop the eco special economic zone to quickly concretize made in Nigeria goods for export mine plan to expand the social investment program so as to eradicate poverty and to resuscitate the Ajaokuta Steel Company. However, the report by StatiSense that Nigerians' percentage loss was calculated to be 3.53% behind the top three losers, which are South Africa, Angola, and Libya, with 49.5 billion US dollars, 27.1 billion US dollars, and 26.7 billion US dollars, respectively. Meaning, Buhari's economic campaign promises were nothing. To write home about. StatiSense, who happens to be a data consulting firm with expertise in providing data services such as analytics, research, reporting, measurements and evaluations, and training to individuals, private organizations and non-governmental organizations, also disclosed that Nigeria was not among the 20 top countries in the African continent that had gains in the gross domestic product GDP. The revelations were disclosed on Thursday on his Twitter page added that 24 countries gained 96 billion US dollars while Nigeria was among the 26 countries that lost 162.6 billion uh, dollars between 2019 and 2020. The countries that had GDP gains are Egypt, with 60 billion US dollars, Ethiopia had 11.7 billion US dollars, and Ghana with 5.12 billion uh, US dollars. Kenya got 3.34 uh, billion US dollars, Cote d'Ivoire made 2.81 billion US dollars, Uganda made 2.20 billion US dollars, Guinea made 2.17 billion US dollars, Senegal with 1.60 billion dollars. Uh, US dollars, Burkina Faso with 1.3 billion US dollars, and Tanzania with 1.27 billion US dollars. Others that made the top 20 GDP gainers were Benin Republic, Malawi, Cameroon, Niger Republic, Togo with, uh, with 1.26 billion, 1.10 billion, 795 million dollars, 767 million dollars, and 354 million US dollars, respectively. The rest with increase in GDP are Burundi, 
Mauritania, Mali, Central African Republic, uh, uh, Gambia that acquired 256 million uh, US dollars, 178 million US dollars, 112 million US dollars, 82.8 million US dollars, and 75.9 million US dollars respectively. And um, that is the news headline addressing this that Nigeria under Buhari's government has lost 6.5 trillion uh, naira in two years, while uh, some other uh, top countries have actually been gainers of the GDP. And the analysis is quite simple that uh, Nigeria seems to be uh, on the rear when it comes to uh, gaining from the uh, GDP. Uh, especially among uh, the African country where we happen to be the most populous in African country and this has obviously affected uh, uh, our countries have been affected by the economic crisis between the last two years uh, you know President Muhammadu Buhari uh, actually promised in 2015 while he was campaigning to be the president of the country that he was going to help boost uh, uh, the Nigerian economic uh, sector by making it stronger uh, with partnership with private sectors and that, uh, you know, it was going to uh, revamp the nation's economy by engaging the 1 million uh, N-Power graduates uh, and skills, increase them from 1 million to 10 million. And all that, uh, in other uh, promises, he said he was going to develop six industrial parks in each of the six, uh, six geopolitical zones and also establish 109 special production and uh, processing center across all senatorial districts. And all this was to develop, uh, uh, you know, and eradicate, uh, it was to develop the country economy and to eradicate poverty. We could also recall that then he said he was going to resuscitate the Ajaokuta Steel Company. However, reverse is the case because the, according to Statisense, who happened to be a consulting firm with expertise in providing data and services such as analytics, research, reporting, measurement, and they also provide trainings to individuals, they have disclosed that uh, aside uh, those that have, you know, been beneficiary of this uh, GDP, who they claim to be uh, countries like Egypt, Ghana, Kenya, Cote d'Ivoire, Uganda, Guinea, Senegal. Uh, and others like Malawi, Cameroon, Niger Republic, you know, Togo, uh, and Togo, you know, Mali, Mauritania, and the likes. Now, apart from these countries, the Nigeria is not even closer at all, and that uh, uh, Nigeria is far behind, and it is nothing, and the promises by Buhari economic campaigns were nothing to even write home about. Thanks for listening to the Times, 8.53 p.m. Good evening.